Penny Lane is out to get my roommate, Lizzie. I've tried being nice to the cat, but it just seems like there's nothing else to try. Our only option is to go our separate ways. It takes a lot to scare me. I spend my life with cats. Yeah. This cat freaked me out. Whoa. When we moved to this home, Roxy immediately became terrified of our other cat, Max. It's like a switch was just turned on, and she hates the other cat. And it's just a really violent and ugly situation. She scratched my arm pretty badly. I mean, it's a, it's a major source of stress. If we couldn't improve the situation, then we should probably find her another home. I mean, it's the same as asking me to get rid of a child. I'm not willing to get rid of my cat. I'm Jackson Galaxy. I'm a musician by night and a cat behaviorist by day. Yeah. I've met cats with all kinds of problems. But I've never met one I couldn't help. In my career, I've worked with thousands of cats one-on-one, -on -one, analyzing their behaviors and retraining them and their guardians. When relationships are at an end... I feel like I have to choose between my best friends. And cat guardians have reached their emotional limit... It's the end of the line. I'm their last hope. Your fear feeds the dynamic between the two of you. Cats have nine lives, but humans only have one. <laughs> and welcome, everybody, to The Kiosk Presents here in Buffalo and Western New York. You know, there's a great new show, and it's on Animal Planet, Saturdays at 8 p.m. And who, who would be better than to host an animal show on Animal Planet than a guy by the name of Jackson Galaxy, of all things. Jackson, welcome to The Chaos Presents. Thanks for having me, Don. Now, Jackson, the name of the show is My Cat from Hell. My cat was so excited when I told him I was interviewing you, he did have a question for you. Ready? <laughs> okay, ready. Meow? Uh, good. That's a question? I, I just didn't know how to respond to that, so. Yeah, I don't either. Okay. But nice try, though. <laughs> We're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. Okay. But this is sort of cool. So you're the courageous uh, king of copious kitty conflicts. Is that correct? That is well said, and, and I'll take that mantle. You may steal it. I wrote it for you. Thank you. <laughs> the question really is, it's really interesting, too, because you discuss cat problems, but the truth of the matter is a lot of our, the cat problems that you deal with really are owner problems, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I would say by and large... Uh, humans play a major part in the cat problems and, and you'll see that especially this season on My Cat From Hell uh, as we go through the litany of problems that, that these cats have oftentimes there's a big human component to it. What's the number one problem? Uh, I have a cat um, he's just always into everything but that's not a big problem he's just curious and always into everything but what's the number one complaint you get from cat owners? Uh, I mean, it's divided pretty evenly. It's aggression and it is litter box. Those, those issues uh, are what has uh, given me a job for the past 17 years, basically. What is revenge peeing? <laughs> yeah, it's funny because there's revenge pee, there's revenge puke. You know, we've had all kinds of things on this show. People, you know, cats because there's this level of inscrutability. Uh, I think they're, they're prime targets for projection. People just, just want to read something into their cat, so they call it revenge, they call it spite, they call it whatever they call it, it then becomes my job to teach them what their cats are actually doing. Well, I wasn't sure I was a cat lover until I bought brand new leather furniture, had it delivered that morning, came home that night, and the cat had chewed off all the ends of the furniture, of the brand new leather furniture, and he's still with me. Isn't that cute? I mean, doesn't that prove that I, I just bought him the most expensive kitty chew toy in America? In America. And, and it's amazing. The fact that, that you didn't, you know, well, I get the call all the time, I'm at the end of my rope. You know, the fact that you weren't at the end of your rope immediately uh, is, is a testament to you. I love it. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, and it was, it was a great kitty. All right, now, when you're talking about uh, things like, I read the bio, it's really interesting, overstimulation, how do you overstimulate a cat? Does that cause stress? Is that playing with them too much? 
Uh, I mean, a lot of times, I mean, there's, there's petting-induced overstimulation, and there's a lot of cats that experience this. And when I say experience it, it's not really a choice on their part. It's their body and, you know, this whole boring thing about hair follicle receptors and, and that kind of thing. But uh, basically, if you pet a cat too much, and especially doing that full body stroke on them, and you're not reading the signs that they're getting a little agitated, their tail is starting to wag, their ears are flashing around, uh, then suddenly they turn and bite, and you're wondering, why is your cat doing something out of the blue? So again, it becomes my job to teach you those signs uh, at T minus 10 before blast off happens, you know? Well, there's a lot of cat lovers here in Western New York, so I'm sure your program is being watched. Now, the thing is, you, you've worked eight years at a cat shelter in Boulder, Colorado, and I know most of these episodes are being shot in New York City, correct? No, most of them are, are, are in and around L.A. We, oh, the, L.A.? Yeah, okay. this season, though, uh, the first episode that you'll see, the premiere episode, was in New York City, which is my hometown, so I was really, really happy to go back. Ah, uh, great. Now, for just because you're an interesting-looking fellow with tattoos and all kinds of things, and... Uh, and you're a musician, a songwriter, an uh -huh. actor, as well as a cat psychiatrist or psychologist. Okay, um, the girls want to know in the studio: Is it true that your favorite band is uh, Stray Cats? That's an absolute fallacy, and I don't know who <sighs> spread that nasty lie. All right, well, I'm gonna I'll, I'll straighten them out. All right. Okay, thank you. But but anyway, so so also be, besides the show and and uh, your dedication to our feline buddies and all that, you're a songwriter. And uh, yeah. let's see. Um, you wrote a book called Cat Daddy. Okay, and now is that available yes. on uh, on uh, any of the websites? You, yeah, you can get Cat Daddy anywhere that you can get a book, uh, whether it's in stores or uh, online. You can get it anywhere, and it's been out now for a couple of months, getting really, really positive response. So I'm really happy about that too. And some of the some of the issues you talk about on the uh, on the TV show My Cat from Hell are obviously covered in Cat Daddy. So a lot of the behavioral problems and ways to address them are covered. Right. I mean, it's, it's a combination memoir and tip book as well. And it's basically talking about my relationship with one of my cats. And over the 14 years we were together, how he basically helped me forge a lot of the techniques I use now because he was such a pain, you know. Well, I hope, I hope that helps you sell more books because, I, I, you know, if it's, if it's good for the cat and good for the cat owner, then I hope it's good for you too, okay? Well, thank you so much. And one more thing. Holistic remedies for animals? Spir spirit yes, sir. essences? Tell me about that. Yes. I'm dying to hear about it. Spirit Essences is a business that I've run for years now. I, uh, I started working with a holistic veterinarian back in Colorado who started the line. It's a, it's a natural way of helping animals, so it's not medication in that traditional sense where we're sort of pounding a reality into them by medicating and by tranquilizing. We're helping them uh, to, to make better choices, and so it's a much more gentle technique, and I use it in just about every case. Well, there you have it, cat lovers. Jackson Galaxy, the, well, I named him the Courageous King of Copious Kitty Conflicts. And, <laughs> and the show is My Cat from Hell on Animal Planet, Saturdays at 8 p.m. He's got a book. He's got a show. If you love cats, you can't miss it. Let's, uh, and we're going to have all one million people, because we're all cat lovers here in Western New York, watch your show. That's for sure. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Don. Thank you for joining us here in Buffalo, New York on The Chaos Presents. What a beautiful day to do what I do. Today, I'm going over to Laura and Lizzie's house. This is not such a beautiful thing. They sent me in some video of this cat. Penny Lane flat out attacks. <laughs> That's crazy. She's completely unpredictable. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in my life. Wow. The violence is tearing these two roommates and best friends apart. I got to get over there. Some cats can form bonds with humans, just like we do with our own best friends. And just like friends, when your cat is in serious need of help, you can't just abandon them. Hey. Come on in. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how are you guys? When Jackson showed up, I was so excited. I mean, he couldn't have come a minute sooner. So, guys, I've seen this video, and I'm incredibly concerned. Has she done any kind of damage to you? Yeah, I have a scar right now. Oh, yes, you do. She doesn't have front claws. So the oh. only damage she's going to do is with her teeth and with her back claws. Oh, she's declawed? Mm -hmm. mm hmm Is this sort of her world now, and you just rent space? I feel like I can't be at home in my own apartment. Like, I go in my room, and I just shut the door. Well, that's no way to live, either. No. Right.